Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I wanted to go ahead and show you how I do my editing. Uh, but first I wanted to do some pre-things to the editing, and that includes creating um, a cover for the chat in EverQuest so that you can't see it. Now, I don't use this right now because I'm not in a guild, so it doesn't really matter, and... If anyone was to ever bring up to me that they kind of don't like seeing uh, their chat being displayed in a video, then I will make changes. But as far as uh, this goes, it's pretty simple, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and start with, I went ahead and did a search. This I'm, I'm going to recreate um, a picture I did for ZK. Uh, which is a friend of mine, and I've mentioned him several times. I'll definitely put a link on the page, uh, on the screen. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to go ahead and get into is Blender, which different versions that you that are out at the moment may have different things on the screen here. Like I've seen a little poodle thing or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and click out of it by just clicking on the screen with the left mouse button. And then I'm going to go ahead and press Delete and enter and I'll get rid of the square that you start out with I'm gonna right click on this little thing here and go over to view and front now I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that orange thing again that means that I'm re clicking on the screen and I'm gonna press control alt and then zero so I'm pressing control first, then alt, holding them of course, and then pressing zero and I get this screen now. This is where everything that we do is going to be viewed. So it should be um, pretty easy to size. I know there's going to be some hotkeys that people know that I don't know uh, that will make this faster, but I'm going to do it the way that I know how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and Go over to the side toolbar on the left and it says create and I'm going to choose text. Now then I'm going to right click on the screen again. That means I'm putting attention back on the screen and I'm going to press R X 9 0 and press enter. What this does is it says that um, on the X axis I want it to rotate. 90 degrees that's R X 9 0 and um, you can actually do it at different angles you can do it at uh, R X um, 70 degrees 45 degrees and it will give different effects but for me I always like a front on view this way I can actually see what's going on so now I want to edit the text since it's highlighted with the orange I'm going to go ahead and press tab and I'm going to type in Z K and press enter. Uh, actually, I'm going to press tab again. So now I want to go ahead and size this. I'm going to right click on the name and I'm going to drag it over to the corner uh, with the left uh, from with the right mouse, but mouse button to move it and the left mouse button to place it. Now you'll see that you have a blue to go up and down. You'll have a red to go left and right. And you'll have a green which will allow you to expand it. Once you have it to relatively the size that you want it, go ahead and move it. Now you'll see that the point is here. I want to go ahead and put it in the center. This way it's, for me, it's centered. And also if you want to put effects on the, the lettering, uh, this again will be affected by where uh, the center is located. If it's left of center, then it's going to do effects differently. Now, if you want it to extrude, which means come out, out of the screen, you uh, use this extrude, which is um, un under your F, uh, which is font, under geometry, and then extrude. Now, normally, whenever you're going to edit something, you only use two things. That is extrude and depth. Depth rounds, the rounds them for you. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go back down. And I'm not going to round them right now because I want to make sure I choose my font. Now for me, I'm very particular. I have an external hard drive that I save everything into. And it's still maybe not in order specifically. But there are things that I have. So I have a font library. And knowing ZK, knowing who he is, knowing his YouTube channel, I know for a fact that he watches wrestling. And why would I not, if I know that, get a WWE Raw font? And there we go. This is, now it says ZK, but we need to make it smaller. So I'm going to, like I said, right click to move it. Uh, right click to move it, left click to place it, and I might go ahead and bring it down just a little bit. And put it right back there in the center, make sure it's nice. And you want to make sure you have kind of even, because this size is what I want to kind of go for whenever I end up making the nameplate that I'm going to place over the chat. So I'm going to kind of bring it a little bit smaller like that and then I'm gonna line it up on the actual bottom Z line there we go sit trying to make sure that's kind of even it's still not there we go I'm gonna say that's even and we can always edit it once we get into um, creating the picture itself so now colors uh one thing i wanted to do whenever i um whenever i w made his picture i wanted to go ahead and go to uh youtube or not youtube but uh, um online go to images.google.com and then type wwe raw logo now this is the logo I'm looking for, but I want one that is a little bit more straightforward, something like this. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I don't care what it looks like. I'm getting, uh, what I want is the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it into my pictures. I don't really care what the name is. There we go. And then go, go ahead and close that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my pictures here. Let's see here, scroll up. Pictures, and then raw. So I need to go ahead and open this up. And just drag this up, oh, not drag all of it. Uh, just drag this straight down and open it. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you get what the color is? Well, this program here is called paint.net. It's a free program that you can get online. And it acts kind of like um, some of the more popular paint programs. But um, I can't afford those. So <laughs> what you do is you come over here to where it says color picker. And you click on the color then you'll see here the color is now placed here i can go ahead and click more and i have the colors so it's two uh two four five three one or i can go ahead and copy this uh hex code go ahead and copy it and i'm going to go ahead and minimize this and close this and i'm going to go ahead and go over here to this little orb Go ahead and click new. And now I'm gonna to go to hex and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste the hex number. Now go ahead and press enter and you'll see now that it's the color. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it the intensity. And then if you want to, you can use another color here, but I don't really do that unless it's something in specific that I wanna do. So here we have the name, we have the color that we want it to be. And so now we have to set up lighting. I'm gonna go ahead and go with ambient and indirect. 
and then I'm going to do approximate. And let's go ahead and the last thing is we need to do is you can choose, you can keep the compression the way it is right now at 15%. I always like to go to uh, 100%. And color depth, I like to go to 16. And then shading, I like, you want to have a transparent so that you can edit it and have no background to it. So you'll, you can overlay it, anything that you want. So now we're going to go ahead and test it. And that pops. That's exactly what you want out of it. Now, if you want to, we can go back and we can do some of that editing that I was talking about where we can extrude it out. And we can put a little bit of depth on it if we want to. And then render it again. And there you go. But for the thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to make it a little bit different. So I went ahead and took these out. I didn't want these. Okay, so those are done. I'm going to render it one last time. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to Image, Save Copy. And then here's where my system comes in. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and go to eDrive, uh, Video Art Libraries. And because of the fact that this doesn't fit into Basement, uh, Besiege, EverQuest, Hellgate, Interactive Poets, Kinshi, or any of the games that I've played. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it in the middle here. So I'm going to just type Kin... Uh, <laughs> I, I, said, I almost did Kinshi. Um, <laughs> ZK. There we go. Okay, now it's saved. You can go ahead and close it, or if you want to use this again, if you know that you like this style, you like the way it looks and everything, you can actually create a project by going to uh, File and then Save. But I do this so often that I don't, I don't save them unless it's something specific that I know that I'm going to use over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. And now I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to go ahead and close that because I'm not going to need that anymore and open. And this is where I save everything. So I have raw video recorded uh, software, uh, recording software, rendering. This is just how I save my stuff. And so here we go. Uh, video art library and you'll see just random things here which a lot of this should be uh, moved to um, moved into uh, different things. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and pull up ZK. So now we have ZK pulled up. Now, I already knew several things about this. I wanted to have um, I wanted to have a white outline uh, originally. I also wanted to have it so that it faded um from like black to red or from yeah from black to red so the first thing i need to do is uh i'm going to put this right under here uh and then i'm going to go over to my tools and select this which is a, a gradient and i want to choose this one it's a linear gradient and now i'm going to go ahead and choose the color black now, this is going to be kind of weird at first, but I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the center here and go kind of like that. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and go into my layers and I'm going to multiply them and uh, yes, and then we'll see that this is too dark. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to go back and we're going to go ahead and just go to where it's, see, I can go up a little bit more. Kind of, it's kind of weird with that line. You don't, you want to just get it to where 
It's coming right to here, I believe. There we go. Now then, you might be saying, well, cool, you have a little bit of darkness going to red, but you have this black line here that just really doesn't make any sense. Well, that's okay. I have a way to get around it. I want to go ahead and click on this, which is the main picture that we have. I'm going to take my little magic wand and I'm going to click on the screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this layer and I'm going to just press delete. And all of it's gone except for the gradient that's going in there. And then we also need to do the same thing for inside the A. Go back down here and press delete. And there you go. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and add another layer. And this is going to be the background. And we'll go ahead and use our bucket. And there you go. There, <laughs> everything is there. Um, and then I like to go ahead and multiply and should have everything set. Now then, I want to go ahead and make sure that all my lines are nice and straight. For some reason, I don't know why. Let me go ahead and take this. Is it adding some kind of... making it so it's rough so I may go ahead and take this layer and normal okay why is it now taking it completely away if it's because this is multiplying let's go ahead and put that normal and now yeah that's what's causing it so I'm not going to use the gradient, apparently. <laughs> um, I was wondering why that was being... Oh, you know what, though? Let's go ahead and put it there. Let's multiply. Then... No, don't want to do that. Maybe... <laughs> Let's... Let's go ahead and try it out. Sorry, I'm trying to do different things here to make sure that we get the look that we want. We, we don't want it to look bad. And that's what I'm having. That's what I'm seeing right now is that it's looking just bad. And it's not going to fix it by doing it on that layer. Maybe on this layer. Um, let's try it this way. Have this multiply. Okay. Have this normal. There's where the problem is right there. So let's go ahead and go back to here. And we're going to go ahead and just completely control A. This is where I do a lot of practice <laughs> is I make sure that everything comes out the way that I want. So now we're going to go ahead and put this back on and then we're going to go ahead and do the gradient again. And I'm going to go ahead and now pull up. And that looks that looks good. Let's try one more time. Uh, why is it moving the actual let's try that it's just a little bit lighter please and there we go I'm going to go ahead and say right there is perfect now then I want to I wanna keep that now I'm going to go ahead and take this away. Oh, man. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do this one more time. I, I'm really picky about straightness, uh, especially with this. There we go. Now then, we're going to go ahead and do our wand again. 
And I think this is where it messed up last time, but because we're having the layer over top instead of on the bottom, um, it should fix the problem. So let's go ahead and click there. Oh, that didn't do it. <laughs> click there. And then go back. Click there. And then boom so much sharper <laughs> okay so that's pretty much what i wanted to give him um so i'm gonna go ahead and save it save as and i'm gonna go ahead and save as a jpeg there we go and it's gonna go ahead and flatten everything out and i'm gonna go ahead and close that now now, I use Camtasia, which some people may or may not know about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and import files now that I need for us to be able to um, do what we need to do. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and import uh, the art. And then I want to go ahead and import videos. So that's the raw video. Now I'm using old video, I believe. Yes, there we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. And I don't know how much video I'm gonna actually end up using, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this just there right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this down to where my chat is. So my chat is right here. I go ahead and shrink it down. Bring it over. And then I'm going to click on the screen. And you'll see now that my whole chat is covered. But I'm very picky. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and scroll up a little bit more. And now you can see the top of the, the chat isn't showing. So now it says ZK instead of having my chat displayed. And then uh, now I, if I want to go ahead and add audio to this because, um, because of the fact that I like to do overlays. I know some people don't like to do that, but it's my style. It allows me to be able to, um, it allows me to be able to, do audio of my choice so if I been grouping in a lot of places then what I'll do is I'll do a mashup and then I'll talk about my day what I've been doing things that I plan for in the future with my character and things like that but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I end up timing things by doing this so the next program i'm using is audacity this is another free program and i will definitely put all the links to the free programs that i'm using down in the bottom and camtasia has a 30-day free trial that you can use and um, i would suggest that you go ahead and try that so what i do is i go ahead and bring this down to where the play button is right underneath this play button. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play on this. Uh, I'm gonna be silent for a second. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I bring it down to where the record button is. <laughs> Makes more sense. And then I start talking about what's going on. Hey everybody, this is Cypher Deck. How are you doing today? And then I go into my spiel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let this run for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this and stop this. And uh, now I have, I'm going to go ahead and close that back out. Now I have my audio. Now for me, I don't edit my audio a lot except for to take out things like this. This is the beginning where we, um, where we talked. And what I did is just um, grab that area and I'm going to press delete. Now that's gone. And then exit. If I have anything to where I uh, I went ahead and exited. Now, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and export your audio. 
and I have an audio, uh, a video audio clips. So I'm going to go ahead and do test. Okay. Now that should be saved. And now I should be able to go ahead and import it. So I'm going to go back to my video audio clips and test and open that. And now then I'm going to go ahead and bring this up and it's very short. So now what I do is I align this to where the audio video ends. I'm going to go down to the very end here. And we'll go ahead and bring this all the way back. And you'll see that you'll uh, there's different pictures and things that are going to be shown. And there we go. And then we'll go, go ahead and do the same thing with this here, the picture. And then I'll go ahead and bring this back. Bring my music that I use for my, the end of my video over here and you'll see that I'm just moving my mouse back and forth it makes it go a little bit faster or you can press control and zoom, uh, scroll to zoom out so I can just bring my picture over here and then um, I think that's it so let's go ahead and zoom back in and we'll go ahead and listen to it and then I start talking about what's going on. Hey everybody, this is Cypher Deck. How are you doing today? And then I go into my spiel. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this run for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and stop. And there you go. And if you want to, you can make something like this. And, um, and allow you to show the previous video that you were uh, playing. And if you're like me... Um, you already have the next video that you're going to be recording uh, saved. So um, uh, you'll ha uh, I can show a video here that's actually playing for the duration of the song. Uh, and it usually has a coming soon go uh, over that. But anyway, this is pretty much what I do to get my videos done. And then last thing I do is I go to produce... And then I choose the format. I like to do uh, 110. You can do it at 720. All it does is take up more hard drive space or uh, changes the quality of the video. And then the next is just to choose where you want it to go. So I hope this helped you. I know that I went through a lot of information. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. This is Cypher Deck and my tutorial. Peace out.